especially cool for my family. Um, I didn't say this before the game, but my, my grandfather was a 20-year uh, season ticket holder here um, for the Orioles, and today would have been his 79th birthday. He passed away four years ago, so um, I just found that out the other day, actually, that today would have been his birthday. So um, that's a big reason why it was so special, and I think part of the reason why my mom was so pumped up out there, too. Yeah. Did the, uh, pl your teammates have to coax you to go out there to accept the uh, applause? Yeah, I, um, I didn't really know the etiquette there, but yeah, uh, a couple of them were just kind of smiling that was, I was even asking. So yeah, I, I went up right after that and, and uh, yeah, did the curtain call. What were your thoughts rounding the bases? I don't really remember it, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> yeah, um, I was just kind of in disbelief and, and uh, I mean, I ran the bases pretty hard there from what I was told. So. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just a surreal moment for sure. I couldn't really hear over the crowd noise. Was your walk-up song, Mo Money, Mo Problems? Yes, yeah, that's been my walk-up since my freshman year of college, and it's one of my favorite songs. So, I, uh, yeah, I've just kept it after all these years. Can you talk about just how you stay ready from going to the minors to come up to big leagues? Yeah, um, I mean, as you come up in the minor league system, uh, you're told every level you go to, you've got to be ready um, when you get to the majors because it can, it'll just happen with a phone call and you go up and you're expected to perform. So, um, I mean, I, I felt a little nervous today, naturally, but once the game started, you got to find a way to let it go and just go out there and, and do what you've been doing your whole life. So that's what I try to do. Trey, for those of us who don't know your game, is that a typical Mancini home run? Um, yeah, I would say that like, I stayed towards the middle of the field, right, and, and left center. When things are going well, at least, I'm, I'm just kind of driving the ball to either, um, either gap. I mean, that was a cannon shot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah I got it pretty good, <laughs> I guess, yeah. What does it mean to you that it broke up a no-hitter? Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was cool that it broke up a no-hitter. Um, and, you know, we, I'm glad it could spark the offense a little bit there. But the most important thing about tonight is that, that we lost a game, and we've got to come back these next two days and find a way to, uh, to split this series because it's, it's a big one.